Hi, and welcome back to Kitty Place in Harriet the Earth. I am Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'm your host for today. Last, when we left off, we finally freed our... <coughs> sorry, we finally freed our friends from the castle of the dogs. And Ia proposed that he, with his nimble footing, could cross the chasm and help us get to the other side, which should help us progress in the game. So let's see if he can do that. Let's talk to him again. We elk are known for our sure-footedness. Let me try to cross it. Yeah, so try to cross it, please. I wouldn't want to take it. Um, maybe take the rope with you? We already have that. Okay, um... Ah, I just needed to click on the other side. And he oh, jumped over. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I'm waiting to grow strong legs and hooves. We already... So basically... This is much too far for me to jump. So let's see if we can use the rope on something. Oh, use the rope was enough. Perfect. And conveniently, there is something on the other side. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, even Ock crosses the chasm using the rope. Well, there we are. And we made it past the rocky gorge. What's that here? A According to the map, there should be a ferry here to take us across. That must be what this old boat is. But I don't see anyone to operate it. All the better. We can just take the boat across ourselves. I wouldn't try that if I were you. What did you say? I didn't say anything. If he wants to cross yon channel, he had best ask me nicely. Oh, look. Is this a wolf? Or a lynx? It's a wolf, an old wolf. Maybe he's the one who owned the ring. Oh, this could be dangerous. We are on a quest of great importance, and would be most grateful if you could but give us passage across the channel. Your quest means nothing to me, and your gratitude means less. If he wants passage, he will pay the price. What is your price? It's not much, you ask. I'd be rather fond of jewelry. Gold is most to me, my dear. Might he have any gold? upon your person. We are but poor travelers. And I am but a poor ferryman, and have no room on the boat for the likes of me. Hmm, okay, we need some gold. We need to pay the ferryman, and I guess the adventurer will do so before he takes us to the other side. Let's see if we can find something here. Nope, nothing. So we need to head back. Can we now just... Yes, we can now just go through that path. We don't have to go through the entirety. Can we sell the... That was luck. That's no way to do business, son. If you want to trade, just tell me. Hello. I am uh, looking for an old friend. A raccoon. Perhaps you've seen him. A raccoon? Hmm. Let's see. No, I don't recall running across any raccoons lately. But if I do, I'll be sure to mention that you're looking for him. I would be most interested in seeing what you have. So then, what will be your pleasure? Gold. I would like to trade back the needle and thread for the ring. 
With my friend, I would be a poor businessman indeed if I would make such a trade. No, I'm afraid I cannot agree to such a bargain. Yeah, I actually understand him. Ia, perhaps you could persuade our friend. My friend, I represent the Forest King in the land to the south. The quest we are on is very dear to his heart, and I am sure that he would... Please, spare me your entreaties. I do not deal in promises. I deal in hard cash. But, but... I'm not a friend of intimidation. Especially not the way that the boars do. Ah, did you see what you can do to, uh, persuade our friend to see our side? I don't think you realize how important this is to Riff. And I hate to see Riff unhappy. <clears throat> You'll have to do better than that. You can't intimidate me. Let's see how brazen you are when you taste the steel of my... my... What's the matter? Missing your sword, perhaps? Perhaps you would like to buy a sword. I'm running a special. Ooh! Ooh! Ah, I'm afraid he has us at a disadvantage. Forget it. But... 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 Life is also a series of choices, and we can use those choices to make life better or worse for those around us. Please, spare me your philosophizing. If you want the ring, come up with the credits. But... Hmm. never mind. I see nothing here that I want at this time. Indeed. Perhaps next time. Farewell, friend Kylas. Safe journey, my friend. Still calls us friend. That is something. Well, but I fear that this might be the case. So we have to somehow come up with some kind of money worth stuff. Well, gold, basically. Check the area. I remember. Yes, that was that was actually a coincidence. I just remembered the quarry and the um, the gems that are in there, and maybe maybe Ock is strong enough to pull out that gem now. Um, and by chance, I actually went that way. So. Let me try to pick up the rock crystal. Allow me to try. It is too large. We will have to figure something else out. Yeah, maybe ask This is the kind of place I like. What a lovely rock crystal. This must be worth something if I can just break it off. <clears throat> gentlemen, gentlemen, allow me to make a suggestion. You, Fox, are a fine puzzle solver and possess a quick wit. Fine attributes, to be sure. And you, Elk, are a fine archer and noble warrior. These two are enviable skills. However, when you need brute strength and pure power, just say Ock. Ha ha ha! Okay, I just needed to try it multiple times. Whoops, I just accidentally clicked outside the window. There we go. Let's see if the wolf will take this. What a lovely... I mean, a crystal must be worth more than... and gold, right?
Ah, that's not where I wanted to go. Let's head up here and check out if the wolf takes that as payment. Or really come to sniff me lovely sea breezes. He'll need to do better than that if he wants to impress me. Okay, so he doesn't take the crystal. Maybe the merchant will take the crystal for the ring. So, the, another dreaded task. Find the merchant. Seemed to be randomly placed last time. Okay, he's not there. I'm sorry for the cut. I thought that I accidentally messed up and didn't record the microphone, but indeed I did. Which I'm glad beca for, because it means I don't need to uh, re-record everything. That would actually have been very bad indeed. Either... Come on, Mr. Merchant Man, where are you? Also, the, the ferryman is far more north than the map that Taiko gave us is, so now we're actually in uncharted lands. Or, we're, we're back in charted lands, but we will be in uncharted lands. And completely on our own. There he is. Hello. I was heavy foot is my... I would be... Tell me, might you find any value in this crystal? Why, yes, yes indeed. So, we have a deal? Oh, we do indeed. The ring is yours, along with my fondest wish that it brings you good fortune. I hope so too. I see nothing. Okay, now let's head back to the firm and give him the wolf ring. I hope he won't freak out because of the wolf ring. Because as we know from Cyst, it has great meaning. So whatever will happen, we will see in a few minutes. Gorge to the dock. <laughs> and now he's laying here. Ferryman! Ferryman! Are you there? Of course I'd be here. Or else would I be. Can he raise the passage? Or merely come to sniff me lovely sea breeze? That ring should do for passage. Hand it over and we'll be off. So let's see. Ah, this be fine. It has a good weight and how did he get this bar? You recognize it? That I do. And it does not bode well. We're off, lads. Settle back. It'll be a while. Perhaps I could answer a few questions for you. No charge. 
Oh, oh that's nice. nice. Well, yeah, how about nice. asking about the wolves? Tell us about the wolves of the North Island. There are be several tribes. The mountain wolves stay mostly to themselves. They don't like to be bothered. But should you run into one, he stand a chance of getting away alive. They sound wobbly. The forest wolves are their friendliest. Just a bunch of big dogs, if you ask me. The snow wolves live far to the north. They're a small group, mostly nomadic by nature. They don't seem like a group that would want to have anything to do with the boar. The ones he has to look out for are called the hunters of the Dark Claw. Who are they? They be the baddest bunch of thieving, murdering black arms in all the land. They're the type that'll slit your throat and feed you to the vultures just for fun. Delightful. Who is their leader? Our leader be Gar. And he be the worst of the worst. If it's him what's mixed up with the war, that means trouble. Deep. Okay. Fun. What can you tell us about the North Island? Nothing good. Unless you're born there and know its ways. It can be mighty unfriendly to strangers. Is there anything we should look out for? Aye, everything. <laughs> Don't turn your back on nothing. Might just be the thing what kills you. Where is the camp of the hunters of the Dark Claw? In the northeast part of the island. Don't let that fool you. They've got scouts and spies everywhere. What is in the northern part of the island? Don't know. I hear stories about strange buildings. Maybe left there by some dead tribe. Never been there. Oh. What do you know about this ring? I know it belongs to a wolf captain. And that be no one to trifle with. Now, where did you find it? Let's just say that I found it in the quarters of the leader of another tribe. And there be an alliance. An alliance? What sort of alliance? That I know not. It could be anything from a simple trade agreement to a military alliance. That would depend on which wolf pack is making the alliance. And the tribe are making the alliance win. Suppose I said the alliance was made with the boars. Then hold on to your hat, lad. Cause suddenly I smells war in the air. War? With whom? With anyone who gets in our way, that's it. Any wolf pack that would form an alliance with the boar is looking for trouble. Even more fun. Well then, we had best be on our way. By the time we get to the island, it'll be time to set up camp. Yes, we'd better get an early start if we plan to pick up the raccoon's trail. Raccoon? He be chasing the raccoon? Yes. What do you know about him? Nothing. I knows nothing. Now leave me be. Good, sir. Lives hang in the balance. I've said too much already. Now leave me be, or so help me, I'll throw the lot of you off me boat. I swear it. How can this raccoon possibly inspire such fear in a wolf? Yeah, this yeah. is obviously no ordinary raccoon. At any rate, we shall find the answer on Yon Island. Perhaps. Perhaps the answer shall find us. Ock has raised a good question. Why was the wolf suddenly afraid of the raccoon, and why wasn't he afraid of all those wolves? Well, okay, he is a wolf, so I guess he knows his way around them, but why is he more afraid of a raccoon? This does not bode well. No, this does not so bode well So that's the North Island. So that's... No hotspot for walking out of the out of the area. Oh, there is a waterfall here. Let's see what this waterfall has to show for us.
Look, there's someone showering in the waterfall. Should I dare speaking to them? I will. Hello! Yeah! Was it something I said? Who are you? Why are you here? Um, well, you know, walking up on a showering woman. Mm, I think there's something you could have said that would not have been kind of creepy. We come in search of information about an orb that was stolen. An orb? What is this orb of which you speak? You do not know of the orbs? The orb of storms? The orb of hands? These words mean nothing to me. My name is Xiao. I live in these woods. You may continue in peace. But remember, I'll be keeping an eye. Well, it seems like she will... She just doesn't trust us. I don't think that she will... She means ill to us. So, yeah. She'll keep her eye on us and we won't do any funny business. So... What's that? This looks like some kind of airport. Ancient ruins. It does look... Like an airport. Looks like this is a landing strip. It looks completely rusted, which probably means that we're not going to be able to get in this way. Uh, I would have, I would have loved to see some kind of play airplanes or stuff like that in there. Now things are getting interesting because these are ancient human ruins. This door opens. Let me just shift a bit closer to the screen. Let's get close and comfortable together. <clears throat> Look at that. This is like no stretcher I've ever seen before. Doesn't this look like a jet plane? Oh, a spool of cable. Let me pick it up. I wonder what's in here. Some sort of hollow tube. But then all tubes are hollow, aren't they? Well, kind of obvious. It says something. TF3. If anyone knows any kind of airplane or something which has a type number TF3. I, I don't know anything about airplanes or... or, or loitering ammunition drones that is but if you know about anything tf3 and remember this game is from 94 maybe we could figure out what this actually is this would make an excellent protection in case of an attack that's true this more than part of a larger structure and there's another weird thing. Look, there's a giant... Apart from that, there's a giant T in the background. Look at this. And I'm not talking about the flies or moths circling around it, but... We know that this is a light bulb, and it's lit. So there needs to be electrical power here. Which means some kind of thing that generates electrical power needs to be maintained, basically. Someone needs to, or, or something, maybe robots, needs to keep it repaired. I wonder what function this could serve. I hope we don't have to fight against robots or something. I wonder what's in here. Well, try to open it. Can't get this open. Oh, damn it. There's nothing here. Oh. Look, there's weird things here. I guess this is like an electrical substation or something. Um, diverting the power. Or, I'm uh, not diverting. Um, what's the correct word? Um, 
like it puts the power everywhere in this in this compound. Hmm. Looks like the traps have rusted. We can only open it a little bit. Can we look inside? It's a large door. No. Large door made of the metal substance. Yeah, okay. Look like look how nature has taken over the starting or landing strips already. The grass growing through what I assume to be cracks in the concrete. Ninety-one. R ninety-one. Interesting. And you also notice the beeping in the music. Which does sound like a computer beep. This is the other end of that. Looks like this is like a runway, you know, the, uh, that starts where I just was and ends um, at the other end, which is open. Let's see, there's something to be found here. It looks like, like a building. Okay. Labs. So there, are, there is a laboratory here. Okay. Of course, since I cut the episode into two halves now, I need to rely on the disc icon. But I think we should be pretty close to the thirty-minute mark. This, this is okay. Admin, admin fourteen. There's a door, so we can enter the administration building. Looks pretty dead to me. And look at that. Evacuate? I wonder what it means by that. But is it art? Okay. So the humans evacuated. You know that there was this door. I uh, didn't want to leave the screen. Actually, I wanted to go behind the counter and check out the other stuff here, but. A narrow slot surrounded by lights. Oh, okay. This looks like I need a key card. Uh, I can't look at the door. No. It's a heavy door made of a metallic substance. I think I need some kind of key card to open this. And as I as I mentioned, um, we were close to the thirty minute mark. So I'm going to. Real quick, finish the investigation of this place, like whether I find some other entrance or something. And then when we're back on the map, I'm going to stop recording this episode. I wonder what's behind that door. I hope that we can actually go there. This door appears to be sealed. Which probably means that we're not going to be able to get in this way. So if there are labs in there and the sign says evacuate, maybe... This door appears to be... Which... Okay, this door's also seen. Maybe this is some kind of secret... This door, which... You know, secret, secret lab area? Maybe they had some kind of containment breach? Oh my god, maybe something similar happened that then happened in real life, you know, maybe this place was um, a facility where the humans experimented with viruses. On the other hand, 
let's not get into speculations about the real life here because um, we don't know yet or rather it is more speculation and, and, and finger pointing to say that this that the coronavirus COVID-19 came from uh, came from um, the laboratory in when this is over, we will know in retrospect what really happened. Or we will have decided what really happened, basically, because that's how it works. The people decide on the truth. Usually, the so-called consensus narrative. There we go. So there is an entrance here that we can't enter yet. And... So we need to check out the rest of the Northern Island, and we're going to do so in the next episode. Which, of course, means that now it's time for the D12. And for me to wish you a happy day, happy night, whatever, depending on the current time. And bye-bye.